build more football team once we get into the offseason program. So that's what I'm most excited about. Yeah, it'll be the same process. You know, we'll take them into the room. In this particular case, we'll we'll do the. I'll ask them if they want to do darts or putty. You know, I like putty. I'm pretty good at both. But, uh, but uh, yeah, then we'll decide that, and we'll just uh, teach them something about the offense and offensive play, and then we'll show them their tape and have them you know, talk about their tape, and check, kind of check their FBI out there, and then recall at the end to give us back what they learned in the beginning. And uh, it's the same process for all the players. Yeah, so right now they're in the process of doing that. They really are. They're, they've been working, you know, every day uh, when they're in the office. And, uh, you know, it's, it's important that Shane, you know, and uh, and uh, Simo and the rest of the staff get together and start to marry these things together and formulate our offensive identity. It's a good question. And uh, they're in the process of doing that right now. Yeah, the wiring of a quarterback obviously is number one is leadership. You know, you have to be a great leader. You got to be resilient. Uh, you got to be able to handle criticism. You know, and then obviously the physical traits. You know, that's that's a big part of it. Um, you, know, you know, the accuracy, the timing, the, the platform, all the things you talk about with that, and then being a winner. You know, that's what that's what it comes down to. Um, all these teams that, uh, that do things at the end of the season, they, they have winners at the quarterback spot. Yeah, I think that's evaluated every single year, right? So it's at the end of the year, you'll evaluate that. And uh, if that's the best move for the Bears, we'll certainly do that. And uh, that's and what we're doing right now is what we think is best for the Bears. Yeah, Brian, you guys do draft the quarterback. Brian was talking about how this team has the infrastructure in place to help with What does that look like? Why would it look to be successful with the staff where it's at right now with the team? Yeah, I, th I think you just point to the first two years. You know, we, you know, that first draft class, all the guys that played there, the free agencies we signed there, and then last year, you know, I mean, a huge free agency class uh, with the draft class there, with all those guys played. So that's a foundation uh, that we have built at the Bears. So, um, you know, Justin, if Justin's the quarterback or a new quarterback's in there, there's a, there's a lot of things that are around him. And what's cool about it is we get to add some more pieces in free agency coming up uh, here in the, in, the, in the short term too. Matt, now that you have Daniel. Given his work on the nation, he knows that kind of revitalize his career. So Does your evaluation from the year for Justin Fields change at all now that you have some outlines? No, it doesn't. No, it's the same evaluation uh, that we had, you know, that I talked about at the end of the season um, at length, and I think it's the same. Matt, do you, do you think this team should be ready to win next year, should be in contention, is that more so than to be a playoff team? Yeah, we're in the process of building that team right now. So, uh, again, we have a lot, to, a lot of work to do between now and uh, April 15, and then April 15 all the way to June 15. So uh, there's a lot of work there to be done. Um, I see it as a natural progression to our, to our uh, building of this franchise. And uh, we're certainly excited about that. <laughs> yeah, I want to just commend the players, uh, you know, on the whole football team for sticking together the way they did uh, at the end of the season and us come having a lot of success at the end. Um, and the defense is the same. You know, I want to really uh, uh, thank those guys for that because they really hung together and started to really gel and started to get really, you know. So to answer your question. Um, you can always have more rushers. You can always have more corners, right? You know, I love that. Uh, but uh, we're, we're close to being a, a pretty solid group. Was it harder to evaluate the defense with Montez Sweat before Montez Sweat was here? Was it harder to evaluate the defense with Montez Sweat before Montez Sweat was here? No, I don't think so. I mean, I, obviously, when you have more pass rush, the timing and the rhythm of their passing game certainly changes, but I, I don't think so. Just, uh, Yeah, you know, obviously we all of our reports go into a system. You know, we rank the rank those, and uh, those are all there for everybody to see. So that, those are always going to be there, and we always go back a year later and say, hey, were we right on these? Were we, you know, we have to adjust or think adjust our thinking on each each uh, prospect. Uh, but uh, you know, I've been looking at quarterbacks all my life, 
you know, and I know what, uh, what what a good quarterback looks like and what what's hard on the defense, you know, and a guy that has the ability to, you know, create, um, a guy that has the ability to throw uh, with timing and accuracy, and the guy that can move the ball on the field when, it, when it's critical moments, like on third down, two minute, all those critical moments. So um, I've always looked at that, and uh, that's been a fun process for me. I, Say that again. No. Yeah, that's just about relationships, right? You know, so we're gonna have a, a, a plan in place, you know, for you know, uh, when if Justin's coming back in there, we'll have a plan in place for that. If we have a new quarterback, we'll have a plan in place for that. So um, that's why you have a guy like Shane that's adjustable, adaptable, creative to be able to handle that. Okay, and also be able to handle potential injury that might happen during the course of the year and uh, be able to adjust our offense accordingly. I, I, Matt, I, in these 20 minute meetings that you have with players, mm -hmm. is it apparent that, to you in your career what guys have it, what guys don't from that? And is there an example you can think of of you spend only 20 minutes with a guy and he walks out and you go, yeah. Yeah, that's a very small piece of it, Pat. Um, I would say that uh, you really can't glean that from that, but you can by talking to the coaches, by watching the tape, um, you know, by going out to the pro days, you know, spending the 30 visit with him when he comes on campus, you get to spend the whole day there. So I think when you chunk all those those touches together, I think you can do it then, but not with just the one. Matt, Matt given, given all the time you've spent with Justin over the last two years, as you guys look to plot your quarterback course forward, what are the boxes a prospect has to check to make you comfortable with moving off Justin? Yeah, I would just say this, that, you know, uh, we're in the process of doing that right now. Um, you know, so, you know, we're not there yet, you know, so we're just in, in the process of evaluating all the, all the guys we have, you know, so if it's quarterback, receiver, tight end, offensive line, all the positions, so we're, we're at, that, at that point right now. I do. Uh, yeah, uh, he'll bring leadership, you know, he, he's, he's great in front of the room, we'll be great leadership to him, uh, he, he has a system that he puts in uh, that, that's uh, rooted in the run game, in play action games, so um, they're going to be excited to have him. Yeah, that's a great question, and I really think it's, a, it's important so they're all cohesive. You know, I really uh, sat down and met with all three of those guys individually and at the same time, um, and uh, our offense is going to be a direct reflection of those three relationships, um, how we coordinate the run, the pass, you know, and the overall coordination. Um, of those in situations um, during the course of the game. So I think that's why we did it, and, uh, and I know that's why we did it, and uh, it's, it's going to be exciting to watch going forward. Ideally... <laughs> uh, just, I just want more, uh, more continuity, more communication there. Yeah, I had a real long conversation with Pete, you know, when uh, that whole thing went down and we were in the interview process and he just gleaned about Shane and talked about him um, at length about his ability to adapt and adjust and what he did with the quarterbacks that were there in Seattle. So I was very comfortable um, moving forward with Shane in that. And it's really about his track record, right? Uh, so we have a current head coach or his, his head coach that was with him, say those words about him and talk to me at length about it. And then me watch the tape and then what he actually did with all those quarterbacks. And to me, that's proof. Matt, Stacey, 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 you were really excited about How are you going to lead on as far as trying to high-level quarterback? Yeah, like you would uh, any offensive coordinator, right? You're going to lead on the process of that because, uh, you know, obviously quarterbacks, the, the leader of the offense, along with the, you know, with the offensive coordinator. So, yeah, heavy, for sure. I, yeah, I look at situations. You know, I look at the guys that can operate third down, two minute, um, and, and the end of the game situations. That, that to me is what's that's a separator um, for me. Um, and then you look at toughness. You know, you got to look in toughness for a quarterback. Really, is is about the mental toughness to be able to stand in the pocket and deliver the ball, um, and then also have the discernment to be able to move out of the pocket and create when it's necessary. So, um, and there's they come in all different shapes and sizes. But uh, yeah, it's always been fun to play with those guys.
across the country, but that's not just the Yeah, always, as a head coach, you're always going to be involved in those, and that's part of the process. Yeah, uh, just the man, uh, first of all. The person that he is, um, you look at that first. Um, he's got a great personality, great way about him. He's got great character. And uh, just his track record. You know, he's been a part of some great defenses. Um, he's obviously been here with the Bears. Um, and obviously what he did over in, in Buffalo with Sean was, was uh, pretty impressive too. So I'm excited about partnering up with him for sure. Matt, Matt Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, a lot, you know, so um, I'm so proud of Jalen, the way he improved um, and the way he really took the challenge to, to be a ball guy, and, and he certainly did that. Um, he's a great leader, in our, not only in our defensive back room, but in our whole defensive room, too. Um, and he's really starting to be a, a, a really good leader in our whole football team. So I'm excited about him. Again, like Brian said this morning, you know, we obviously want to get him to a long-term deal. I hope they're close. I hope it works out. Uh, but uh, certainly excited. We'll be excited to have him back. Yeah, you're looking for a guy that pairs well with him. You know, Jaquan is a guy that's a strong safety. He comes down, man's tight ends. Uh, he's a big hammer. Um, the guy that we'll be looking for has got to have athletic ability. He's got to have range. He's got to have great communication skills. Um, and he's got to have ball skills. You know, we want all of our guys to have the ability to take the ball away. Um, and he has to have that too. And then, then eventually grow into a leader. You know, if it's a, if it's a free agent, he's going to have to feel the temperature of the room and then and, and dive into the leadership role. And if it's a rookie, he's going to have to develop that with the other guys. Two more. Yeah, we have we have several other priorities uh, for sure. So ordering them is really not uh, we're not there yet, but uh, you know certainly pass rusher is one of them. You know we got to make sure that we have somebody opposite you know sweat and make sure we can never have enough of those guys because they affect the game most. Would Matt, you like Matt, an idea? Matt, Matt. Just uh, right now, depth. We don't have a lot of depth there. First of all, you know that's the, that's the first part. And then you know, adding some dynamic pieces there. You know, you know, through free agency potentially and through the draft potentially. So, um, to me, I know when you're trying to defend that, when you have a, a really a, a, you know weapon at tight end, and you got a weapon on at the X receiver at DJ. When you add a, a piece or two to the other side, um, it really balances you up, and it's hard to defend for sure. Yeah, I love Roshan. He's done a great job, and we'll see where he develops, right? He had a rookie year. I've always said that, the, you know, from first year to second year, that's where you make your biggest jump, and I love where he is right now in his development. Okay, all right.